the best Pokemon decks for the Players' Cup, presented by eBay. Real-life tournaments might be called off for the foreseeable future, but thanks to Pokemon TCG Online, top-level players can still compete against each other to stay sharp, and most importantly, see who's the very best. Like no one ever was. In light of the current travel restrictions, the Pokemon Company arranged the Players' Cup, a months-long competition that encompasses all the major competitive pocket monster scenes. At the end of August, the finalists from the trading card game portion will be duking it out to crown a 2020 Pokemon TCG champion. Here's a breakdown of some of the most popular and most powerful decks that have been used and how to put them together. Pikachu and Zekrom GX This is one of the more widely played decks in standard Pokemon TCG competitions right now. Based around their titular electricity Pokemon, the deck utilizes powerful electric attacks and tag teams to shock an opponent into defeat. The main card itself is Pikachu and Zekrom GX, a tag team card with two big electric attacks. Full Blitz is the useful main attack with Tag Bolt GX serving as the deck's devastating one-time GX attack. Jirachi is a basic Pokemon that lets you move a trainer card from your deck to your hand with its Stellar Wish ability. Most decks will run multiple copies to maximize consistency. Another important pickup is Zeraora GX, an electric type that removes the retreat cost on any of your Pokemon that have lightning energy attached. Zeraora also has the ability to move energy cards from your discard pile onto monsters, making it a powerful ally in the circulation of energy. Useful trainer cards include Thunder Mountain, a stadium card that further reduces the energy cost of electric types, along with other staples like Electromagnetic Radar, Escape Board, and Reset Stamp. Professor's Research is the most important supporter inclusion and is the most powerful draw engine in standard right now. Eternatus VMAX This is a dark-based powerhouse from the Darkness Ablaze set, which just came out this month. Using this deck puts you right at the forefront of what's happening in Standard, and nabs you a few rares that should keep their value for the foreseeable future. Most builds use the basic and VMAX versions of the titular Alien Dragon together. Eternatus V is a big hitter that can deliver over 120 damage in a single attack, or 240 damage if your opponent's Pokémon is a VMAX. Eternatus VMAX is even more powerful. This iteration of the monster allows you to have up to 8 Pokemon on your bench, provided they're all Dark types. Its main attack gets stronger the more Dark Pokemon you have in play, topping out at an absurd 270 damage. Absol is an important Dark Pokemon bench sitter. It ups your opponent's retreat cost, then has a damage modifier based on the amount in said retreat cost. As many as 4 Crobat Vs are used too as they let you draw until you have 6 cards in your hand the turn you put it on the bench. It also has a 70 damage attack that poisons the opposing monster. The trainers are easy to find. A couple of Marnies are an easy inclusion, which will cause a redraw between you and your opponent. A special energy is sometimes used, Capture Energy, that gives a colorless energy and lets you place a Pokémon from your deck onto the bench. Galarian Surfetched the latest Pokemon TCG expansion, Darkness Ablaze, has just arrived, but we won't see the full effect on the meta for a while yet. That said, some decks have already been designed to take advantage of what the third booster set in the Sword and Shield TCG series is bringing to the table. Galarian Surfetched is one such build. The pivotal monsters here are Silvali GX and Dedene GX. Silvali has the useful ability to fill out your hand with 5 cards at the start of your turn and a couple of hefty attacks. Dedene allows you to discard your hand and redraw 6 cards when it comes onto the bench. It also has a GX attack that's useful in a pinch. Boss's Orders is among the trainers, which lets you swap out one of your opponent's benched monsters for their active. Other familiar trainers like Professor's Research are must-includes. The Darkness of Blades contributions to this list are the titular Galarian Surfetched and his basic version, Galarian Farfetched. Galarian Farfetched is a sturdy attacker that can do up to 40 damage using Rock Smash. Galarian Surfetched could turn out to be a real breakout star. Surfetched has Meteor Assault, which does 180 damage for 1 Fighting Energy and 2 Colorless. 
the move can't be used again unless Sir Fetched is switched out of active and back in. A simple enough turnaround if you find the right cards.